All right, so you probably know that using a password manager is a great way to improve your online security. So the way most of them work is you create a unique password or you generate a unique password and you save it into this database and then you only need to remember one master password in order to access the database with all your passwords for your different websites. And that's a great way to manage your passwords without having to remember all of them. So that's how most of them work. I recently made a video about Bitwarden, which is a great password manager that does something like that. But there are a couple of downsides using something like this, namely the database. So if you use an offline password manager like KeePass, then you have the actual database file. And if you want to put it on your phone, then you have to manually take the file and put it on your phone. And of course, backing that up and syncing it between different devices can be a little bit of a hassle. So maybe you could use a cloud password manager like Bitwarden, but the problem with that is you have to trust somebody else's server. Most of the time uh, when you're on the cloud, your database file is going to be saved with a provider and you kind of have to trust them to make sure that they don't get hacked or something happens to the server. And of course, if you're just on a friend's computer or you're on your parent's computer or something and you just need to get one password, or maybe you don't want to have to download an application just to access one password on your phone, well, that's a little bit more inconvenient. So this service, LessPass, kind of hopes to eliminate all those problems with kind of a unique way of storing your passwords in that it doesn't store your passwords at all. So let me just show you how to use this. This is probably the easiest way to explain it. So you would take some site, let's say LessPass.com. You would put in some username and then you type in your master password, which I'll say is some password. And then we can generate using all these criteria. And the password here will be the exact same every single time you type this in. So every time you type in these specific, uh, these specific credentials right here, lastpass.com, some username and some password, you will always get this exact same, this exact same password right here. So instead of a password generator, this is a password computer, they call it. And so there's no need to store it because using this algorithm, you will get the same result every single time. And so if you enter a unique master password, that's hard to break, then this will be a really strong password that you have here. And of course you can customize it a bit because uh, some websites have different password requirements. Maybe, I don't know, your bank website doesn't allow you to use special symbols. Some people are still behind the times, so you would just uncheck that. Maybe you can change the length, and of course, it'll still be exactly the same every time you compute this. So of course, if you want to change your password, then you can also do that with the counter right here. So if you want to use the same password and the same configuration, but you want to change your password for whatever reason, then you can just change this counter to anything. You can change it to two, and as you can see, it's a completely different password but with the same master password, same username, and all of that. And these symbols right here are just to confirm that this is your password, you didn't mistype it. So if you're getting frustrated, maybe you typed in the wrong password. Well, if you see the wrong icons right here, then you'll know that you mistyped it. So you can delete that and it goes back to what you would expect. So I think this is a really easy way to do something like that. It works offline. So if you just download the extension right here, then you just fill in the master password and you can generate it with this. And of course you can download an application for Android, for iOS, Firefox, Chrome, even the command line, which can be pretty useful if you want to create some script, maybe to just copy it to your clipboard. Maybe that'll be easier for you than using something like a browser extension. And of course this is all open source, so you can just download the source code if you want to. You can audit the source code just to make sure everything's okay. Now, of course, I don't really recommend typing it in here because the page could be spoofed. So I, will, I would recommend using one of these extensions or maybe the command line version. But I thought this was a really unique and interesting way to do things different than your normal password manager. But it does have a few drawbacks, so let's be honest. So the first problem you might think is that changing your master password for all of your sites is going to be a massive pain. Because of course, if you change your master password, then the password completely changes. So if you want to change your master password, then you have to update every single password on every single website that you use LessPass with, which can be kind of a pain if you have a lot of different passwords to keep track of. 
I mean, it's not a great practice to keep so many accounts anyway. You should probably close out your old accounts that you don't really use anymore and not just create new accounts at, at random. But that is something that you need to know about. And one more problem is that it doesn't really save your username for you. And so if maybe one website uses an email, some website uses a username, and you, maybe you have different usernames for different accounts, then you do still have to remember the usernames. It doesn't remember that for you. And finally, it also doesn't remember these options right here. So maybe your bank just has a numerical password that you have to remember. And you, you do have to remember the options right here as well. So you have to remember to only check this, uncheck these, and maybe change the length for each individual website. I mean, there is a feature in the web extension at least, in that you can sign up to create an account. And what this does is it only remembers these right here. It only remembers these options for each individual site. It doesn't remember your password or your username. So that still works as you would expect. So it only remembers these options for each individual website. But honestly, creating a cloud account for a service like this kind of defeats the point of using this. So if you do something like this, now you're just back into a cloud password manager pretty much. So I don't really see the point in doing something like this. But I would use LastPass if I just had a few accounts across the internet and they didn't have so many different variants. Like I could use the same options for pretty much every website and that would be fine. In that case, that would be pretty good. So finally, at the end of the day, I'm still probably going to use some password manager like Bitwarden that does things the traditional way. But this is just something different that maybe it fits your needs better. Maybe it seems more useful to you. So if this sounds like something that you might find useful, give it a try.